Hello world, welcome to the Lost 13 season opener for 2019. In this video, I make meatball subs, spam and pineapple, and I try a new freeze-dried meal by Alpine Air. Also, spoiler alert, it rains on me. And then the temperatures get down to freezing. So keep watching and see how I make out. Alright, it's April. It's been a fairly cold April, a lot like last year, but today is a great day. Sun's out, it's pretty warm, it's a little windy, uh, in fact it's a lot windy, and uh, originally I wanted to camp at a different spot, but the way the wind was coming off a lake and just getting channeled into an alcove, I had to move spots, so I came here, uh, it's just a little bit down the road from the spot I wanted, and uh, the whole area, it's surrounded by trees. So it's nice and sheltered. There's good um, overhead protection. It's going to be, of course, raining tomorrow. And uh, I think it's going to start tonight. So today for lunch, I'm going to have this Alpine Air three cheese chicken pasta. Never had Alpine Air before, so see how this goes. So when I opened this package, I actually thought that the uh, chicken had gone bad. There's these big chunk of white pieces with a uh, uh, it was green fuzzy stuff all over them, but actually that is a uh, zucchini. So this is a uh, three cheese chicken pasta, pasta with a creamy three cheese sauce and zucchini. It's pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of zucchini actually, um, other than zucchini bread. And the um, Pasta is a little, or the sauce that is, is a little like chalky, kind of tasting. Still, it's pretty good. The uh, chicken bits in it taste a lot better than other freeze dried I've had. Uh, tastes more chicken like and that, that sponginess that a lot of freeze dried. Uh, meats taste like. All right, that'll the spot. Tonight's supper is going to be uh, meatball subs. I'm waiting for my meatballs to simmer a little bit and warm up. I'm going to have a spinach salad. So after dinner, I'm going to get a fire going. It's supposed to get pretty chilly tonight. And a uh, pretty good chance it's going to rain all day tomorrow. I slacked a little bit in finding kindling. So I might have to look for some more and uh, find a way to keep it dry for tomorrow. I think I misjudged the size of these a little bit. <clears throat> it's probably more than I can eat. I guess not traditional camping food, but really not too hard to make. As long as you have room to bring everything out with you. Well, they're good. I tried my best, but I couldn't quite finish it all. And I guess it's better to have too much food than not enough. I suppose uh, some raccoon's gonna get lucky and have a feast tonight. I didn't plan real well 
for this trip. I only brought one canister. I still got a couple mornings of coffee to brew and a few more meals to cook with this thing. So hopefully it lasts. Sun's starting to set. We'll get the fire going. All right, now to the really important stuff. Dessert. Made some spent grain cookies. They use a little different recipe than I've used before. Uh, and I actually used like six or eight ounces of beer in these. Which are not pretty good. I make them again. I do. Uh, I omit the cranberries I put in them. They put more uh, chocolate chips and peanut butter chips in them. They're dark because of the spit and grain I used was from a stout. Tonight's beer comes from My Grain Brewing. I was there a couple weeks ago. My wife set up a surprise birthday party for me. So I got a couple crawlers as a gift to myself. This one's called Winter Jitters Coffee Stout. As you can see, stout, black beer. really good what makes this one a little unique is it is it has a um, I guess like a winter green taste to it it's not quite mint like winter green would be the best uh, way to explain it I like it it's really good um, I could see how it couldn't be uh, certainly couldn't be everybody's bag but but I enjoy it So migraine is in the Joliet train station. And this beer, Winter Jitters, is a 8.5 ABV. Cheers. It's one of those mornings where I just don't want to get up. It's so cozy wrapped up in here, nice and warm. Uh, it's been raining the last couple hours, and it's just stopped. So uh, I suppose it's about time I get up, make some coffee. So my coffee today is called Santo Coffee Cubes. It's um, it's an instant coffee. We got these on a Kickstarter. I can't remember exactly how I even heard about them, but I uh, thought I'd give them a try. The one I'm trying. Today is going to be this peppermint mocha. So they come in these little, I don't know, these little uh, pecked cubes. I'm not sure what their process is, what makes it different from other instant coffee. But it does have a kind of sugar in it called rich panela, which is unrefined evaporated sugar cane. So let's give this one a go. Just drop the cube in and stir. pretty good it's um it's sweeter than I like my coffee I uh, usually just drink it black so having that sugar embedded into it I can I can taste that sweetness uh, flavor wise it tastes I don't know more or less like other instant coffees I've had it's good good enough that I'd get it again so it's in the low 40s right now. 
Uh, I think today's high is 47. Expected more rain to push through. Uh, in fact, starting another, I don't know, couple hours, it should be raining the rest of the day. Maybe I'll get lucky. Uh, it's kind of messing up some of my plans I had for today. And it's supposed to get cold tonight, 33. Uh, some places here are looking to get snow. I'd be surprised if we do. But then tomorrow it's going to warm up, so I'm just going to make it through today. I've got a mountain house breakfast, but I'm just not real hungry right now, so maybe I'll save it and have more of a brunch. I think while uh, the rain's holding off, I might go for a walk. Uh, read a little bit. So for breakfast, I ended up just having a protein bar. Just really wasn't that hungry. Maybe it's because it was so cold, I don't know. Uh, and for lunch, all I've been doing is snacking. And I, I forgot one of my key ingredients for the supper I plan on cooking. But uh, we'll just have to make do. Been uh, raining for the last couple hours. Not real heavy, but heavy enough to uh, make it uncomfortable out here. But it has warmed up a little bit. I built this uh, hooch and I got a fire going for warmth. Since I am using the fire for warmth instead of just entertainment, I'm going through my wood a lot faster. So I'm going to have to head out and get a couple armfuls. I'm also a little low on water, but uh, the way I got my shelter rigged up, I got the water, I'm catching the water, so I'll have enough for coffee in the morning. So because of the rain, I had to switch out to the Kodak camera because it's waterproof. It's too bad I really wanted to use my, my fancier camera for the, all the shoots. So I just got this for Christmas. It's Canon Rebel T6. I guess it's kind of the uh, entry level for uh, these kind of cameras. So I'm going to get a chance to use it more out here. I wanted to go walking around and take some pictures and do all the filming with this, but I well, can't do nothing about Mother Nature. I'm missing a key ingredient to tonight's dinner. I'm having span and pineapple, some rice and mixed veggies. And the ingredient I'm missing is teriyaki sauce. First time I had something like this was in uh, Disney during the Food and Wine Festival. I thought it was amazing. It was at the Hawaii booth. So I've been making it ever since. It's still good without the teriyaki, but the rice is definitely a little bland. It's been raining off and on all day. Wind's kicking up. Uh, the temperature, it's in the mid 40s, but it's gonna drop here real soon and get down to 33, 32. So tonight's beer of choice is another one from Migraine. And it is their Stateville Stout, 7.4 ABV. It's a really good stout. It's a uh, classic style stout. At my birthday party, they were doing a special where they had um, four different variants of the Stateville stout. My favorites were the vanilla and the coffee, but they weren't putting them in crawlers since they were limited release. So I just got the regular one, which is still, like I said, a really good beer. I'm not sure how long I'll be able to hang out out here tonight once the sun goes down. We'll see. I'll probably uh, go through all the rest of my firewood and then retreat to the tent.
Well, last night was chilly, and this morning was real cold. I, uh, I had two cups of coffee before I even attempted to leave the tent. But what helped me get through last night is I got a new sleeping bag. It's part of the military sleep system, and it's uh, almost identical to the one I had when I was in the guard. So it kept me warm all night. So for breakfast today, just got some simple oatmeal, strawberries and cream. Yeah, and I know I could bring a bag of, a little baggie of oatmeal and maybe some fruit, but uh, it's just uh, real convenient having this little cup. <clears throat> so I'm about all packed up. I still got the tent to put away. So it's turning out to be a real nice day. It's supposed to get near 60 today. I uh, wish I didn't have to work tomorrow. I'd love to stay out another night. But I got to get home. Uh, besides that, got to get home to watch Game of Thrones tonight. So, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, check out the website, lost13.com. Thanks. I feel like I had more to say. <laughs>